I'm going over here to Lisa Rogers, everyone. Give her a hand. I'm hungry. I know. I'm very hungry. Especially for that stuff. It's so good for I you. I know. I love that. Now, okay. it's that time of year. Uh, at least we're hoping it's soon going to be that time of year when we can put away our boots and what it have you. Right around the corner. Right around the it's corner. So close. Yeah, you know what? You spend a lot of money on your boots. You do. And if anybody was listening to me all through our fashion season, yeah. it was, you know, buy beautiful classic pieces that you can keep. And so if you've done that, if you've gone out and bought that really great classic beautiful black boot, yes. what, what you want to do is be able to wear it next season as well and it should last you a long time. So there is a little bit of time that is required to make sure that these are going to be stored over the winter months and they're going to look as good next year. Yes, you and don't want to just easy. throw them in the closet. You want to take off the salt and everything no. and make sure they're going to be but good But think for about you. that. People do that. They throw it in the furnace room and the yeah. heat, of course, makes the leather just crack or they put it where it's moist. I once did that with a pair of cowboy boots. They were my favorite cowboy boots. I love them and I went down and yeah. they were covered with mildew. Oh. It was growing. It was a whole like thing there, Marilyn, <laughs> that was like alive. It was so a plant potter. You have to think it through a little bit and yeah. take care of them. So the first thing that you want to do, you know, you've got everything from leather to suede and then you've got all the sheepskins and everything. And there's right. all kinds of great products out now to, to deal with all their different needs. But first what you really want to do is clean them. So you just want to get the general dirt off them. Mm -hmm. Just use any cloth that you've got. Get the worst of it off. And of course, there's all kinds of great brushes that are available now for suede. And you know, you can get right in there and, and really clean them up nicely. For your leather boots, you're cleaning them with water or you're just yeah, wiping just, them off at this point? First, you're a little damp cloth. Okay. Just something soft, yeah. a little damp cloth. Okay. And then I think the thing that's the biggest killer of all is salt. Yes. Salt just brutal. eats into everything. I mean, I could probably go through the audience and look at everybody's toes and I'm sure They're we could good, identify. Actually. Oh, maybe a little Some bit. salt here just somewhere, a little bit. Right? Just so a little bit. So salt is a real issue, and it just really eats and dries the leather out and cracks it. So there's, yeah. again, products on the market available for that. If you don't have that product, try a little vinegar and water mixed together, white oh, yeah. vinegar. But get the salt off it. That's important. Okay, so you've washed them down. You've removed all of the, the salt. salt. And now what you want to do is you want to condition them, because what you want to do is put it's the oil like hair. back in. That's Right. All you right. want to lift up the nap on the suede, and there's all kinds of great conditioners. This one specifically is for suede and nubuck. Yeah. They've got a great ones. This one is sheepskin cleaner and conditioner. Mm -hmm. And I love this just for my leather. I use this all the time. It's a saddle soap. That's the okay. original, and it cleans, and it moisturizes, and it gets all kinds of conditioning back in. Right. So now we've done that. We've worked our way along. Give it a little bit of time to dry. Moisten them up. And then what you want to do, particularly with the leather, is polish. A lot of people skip that. A lot of people that. aren't doing that a anymore. A lot of people don't do that. Yeah. And you know, they've made it so easy now. So instead of, of course, there's the classic. I remember my dad used to do this. Gets all over he used the to get place. the thing going. Oh, it was an, he was so into that. <laughs> it was like he was working it all out on his boot, right? But there's all kinds of other things now. I mean, they come in these great applicators yeah, that are that's easy. True. That's a liquid. Yeah. They come like this. It almost looks like you could play with that, Hair right? Gel. Look at that. Hair yeah. gel. Yeah, you love that. It's light. It's very easy to apply. And other ones that come with a brush right in it. So there's lots available and they come, make sure that you get the right color for the boot. Right. You know, you want to think about that. But you know the one that I really love as well? It's the Suede Renew. Okay. If you've never used Suede Renew, people think, okay, it's only for leather, I can't. Yeah. You actually take your Suede, it nourishes it, it lifts up the nap of it, you do that, and then you put the Suede Renew on and you wait a couple of minutes and you go and wipe it and no color will come off. Okay, well it let's just actually clean right a boot it. here. Okay, I think Marilyn, I saw her boot. Marilyn's Marilyn, got a boot. Get your foot up here, there Missy. There you go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was going to ask okay. you to take them okay. off, but you no don't problem. just like kick We're it, honey. Gonna, okay, just gonna, pause me before I, I blow a hip. You know what? I see them doing this in the <laughs> airport. Blow a hip. She's like, hurry up, no, would no you? Problem. Yeah, you know what? I've always Look wanted to go into My leg can only do this for so long. I think you need some conditioning. Let's yeah, condition. Do you need conditioning? We can do your hip while I'm at it if you want. Yeah, okay, good. She actually started out with, you know, with a pretty good looking boot, but so we just want to make sure when these go down, when these go yeah. away for the, the season. Right. They're they're spiffy and beautiful. But not even that, you gotta take care of them through the season. I mean, right. now we're going into the closing I'm time. You so still got that. a bit more. It's snowing outside, if yeah. I'm correct. And yeah. you know what? You should be doing this. Yeah. See, and I, I've never conditioned. I polish them all the time, but I've never yeah, conditioned. Yeah, and you've got to yeah. put yeah, the oils yeah. back yeah, in, that. okay? So right. then after you do the conditioning, well, mm -hmm. okay, let's just keep going. I'm Why don't you this. just take your time? Okay. I want to know how long know, she can okay. do this for. So I could do it. Okay, Here's the ballet. I love that. Then we get the polish going on there. Yeah, that's good. Okay, got to get the polish out there. You're going to do the other one, too, because it's going to not match. Well, no, you're going to have to do it yourself. I just can't possibly. <laughs> See? 
and then you get it on there and then you have to let it dry before you get into the polishing right. process. Right. Yeah. But there's all kinds of little wipes. I mean, just having one of these guys. That I find is a miracle worker it on is. the boots. And when you're traveling. If I do nothing else, I at least use this little sponge because it Shine. shines them That's up. Right. That's right. It's fantastic. hotels sometimes. Yeah, yeah I, yes, I, I steal do. them. Oh, oh dear, did I say that out loud? Well, you're going to love this audience. <laughs> Thanks to Money's Worth and Best, everyone is That's going to be getting a gift see? bag of great products good? for shoe care. We yeah. want you to keep your shoes up, including all weather protector. Do your shoe. How okay, do you do your shoe? Go for it, girlfriend. <laughs>